like that already? Man, I'm still hungry. Here are the two remaining pieces of ametrine preforms that I had from a larger parcel or lot of ametrine rough, which I had purchased a very, very long time ago. Last week, I cut one of the two remaining pieces of ametrine rough into a rectangular step cut design, and here is how it turned out. Here is the link to that video if you want to see how I cut that gemstone. This week, I'll cut the remaining piece of ametrine rough into a different rectangular design, and Bopi, my wife, and I will then look at the two gemstones and determine which rectangular design we want to cut our very large piece of ametrine rough into. This is a piece of AAA quality ametrine rough, which I imported directly from the mine in Bolivia. It's too large for my scale to weigh as it weighs in somewhere between 110 to 150 carats, a very large gemstone. I'm not sure which design will look best for this piece of rough, either the rectangular step cut design that I cut last week or the rectangular design I selected for this week to cut the other smaller piece of ametrine into. For this week, I selected a very unique rectangular design, which is called Fruity Candy. This design was created by Arya Akvan. Um, I have cut several of Arya's other designs, and the gemstones I cut with Arya's designs always turn out awesome. Great job, Arya. Here is the cutting information and instructions for Arya's Fruity Candy. Arya was kind enough to release this design into the public domain so all cutters could give this design a try. I found this design on the web at a site called The Gemology Project. It is shown on the Fastening Designs page of that website. Arya named this design Fruity Candy as the final gemstone reminded him of the famous fruity flavored hard candy. According to Arya, although this design works well in a wide variety of gem rough, he personally prefers to cut rubellite tourmaline using this design and I'll have to give that a try one day. So for our fruity candy for ametrine, we want to put our index at, at the 96 tooth, and at that point we want to put our stone in the dop horizontal. So we orient it to be horizontal and lock it in place at the 96 index, right about there. And we just uh, lock our set screw and we're ready to start cutting our ametrine. Okay, I've gone over our fruity candy with the 320 grit topper lap. Because this stone was already preformed, I was able to start with a 320 grit instead of a much rougher lap to preform things. So uh, now I'll use the 600 grit and tighten things up a little better and just keep working at the stone from there. Now note, this is not a step cut. Uh, so this emerald design, this rectangular design, is not a step cut, and that means you have to hit your length to width ratio. If you don't get your length to width ratio correct, your meats won't, won't line up. So I showed you in an earlier video that with rectangular or emerald cuts that are step cuts, you don't have to worry about the length to width ratio. It, it can be adjusted for whatever however much material you have on your rough, which works, works out well. But for this cut, you do have to hit the length to width ratio just right. So now I'll use my 600 grit lap and continue to work on this stone. Okay, I finished going over our ametrine with the uh, 600 grit diamond grit lap. And, uh, and so everything's pretty well ready to go. I'll now go over it with my 12M lap. That little kind of smudge there that's that's a uh, from my sharpie the black marker from my sharpie same with that little black mark so don't worry about those there's no same with that there's no uh, issues with this stone I didn't see any any inclusions at all so the 600 grit lined up all the facets a little tighter and now the 12m which is about a 1500 grit lap will make it a little bit more tighter and then uh, then we'll Almost, they'll be almost ready to polish after that. It's coming along nicely, our little uh, fruity candy. I 
finished polishing the bottom half or pavilion of our ametrine. So I'm ready to transfer the stone and uh, begin cutting the upper half. I used a two, 210 grit diamond topper lap and preformed the uh, upper half of our fruity candy. And I didn't go through all the facets because some of them cut are very small and are going to cut quick. So I don't need to I don't need to touch those facets with the uh, rougher laps. So I just did uh, in line of instructions C1 through C4. So now I'll use the 600 grit uh, diamond grit and go over this again, and then my 12M. And again, uh, since it's a small stone, I'd probably be able to go to uh, polish right after that, but we'll see. I finished going over our ametrine fruity candy with my 12M lap, which is about a 1500 grit. 12M is microns, and so it's microns versus grit. So it's about, about the same as a 1200 grit lap. Now this is what you want. Uh, there's no scratches. It's nice, looks like a frosted, right? There's no scratches anywhere. So now, because it's such a good pre-polish, and that's not normally the case with me, but since this case, everything pre-polished nicely, I can go straight to polish. So, a lot of times when you're working with quartz, uh, quartz gets caught up in your lap and you end up with scratches. And if you do get scratches with your 1200 grit lap, what you need to do is stop right away, take it to the sink with your Scotch Brite, you know, pad with the one with the, you know, the scrubber on one side and the sponge on the other, and some detergent like I used on, and scrub that, that lap, okay, and get rid of whatever quartz got embedded in it so there's no little scratches because if there's scratches it just makes it harder takes a little bit longer to polish so in this case my 12m worked perfectly no scratches and now i'll go straight to polish i finished polishing the upper half of our fruity candy so now i will uh, set up my machine to cut the table and polish the table and we'll be done okay our fruity candy is done so i'll soak it in acetone to get the adhesive off the top and uh, then we'll weigh it and measure it and uh, send it off to Bopi. In this video, I cut the second and last of my two remaining pieces of preformed ametrine rough into the rectangular design called Fruity Candy. Bopi really liked the way this gemstone turned out and so this is the winning design and I will use this design to cut my very large piece of ametrine rough in the near future. This design is not a step cut design, so it may be a bit of a challenge for a brand new cutter as you have to get the length to width just right or the facets won't line up. It's not an overly difficult design, just not a first stone design to cut for a brand new cutter. I would recommend that you, you give this design a try. It is fun to cut and the final gemstone looks super. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this gemstone and the design I used. And stay tuned for a future video where I cut my very large piece of ametrine rough using the same design. I can't wait to see how that turns out. And as always, happy fasting everyone. <music>